Hello there, creeps. My name is Cameron, and welcome back to Library Macabre, where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. And on this episode, I have a review of The Gordon Place by Isaac Thorne. Before I get into the review, I wanted to introduce a very special guest. This over here to my left is Tony. And uh, Tony here is going to be staying with me throughout the Halloween season. So September, October, he's going to be popping up in many of my videos. So uh, Tony, you want to introduce yourself? What, are you shy? You're what, like 900 years old and you're camera shy, really? No, it's okay, man. It's totally fine. Like, I get it. Sometimes being on camera can be a little nerve-wracking, so it's okay. He'll warm up. Getting into the review, I am reviewing The Gordon Place by Isaac Thorne. And Sean DeRegger, the narrator of the audiobook of The Gordon Place, was very kind and sent me a code to download the audiobook. So that's what I did. I listened to the audiobook. I didn't actually read the book myself. But in my mind, that's still considered reading because you're still taking in the book. You're just not reading the words on the page, so it's, it's the same thing. So, The Gordon Place by Isaac Thorne opens with a disclaimer from the author assuring readers that his novel is a book about the horrors of racism. It is not a racist novel. I'm going to admit, this statement actually made me nervous, because if an author feels the need to expose the point of their novel from the get-go, so that way readers won't unfairly judge the book without even finishing it, it makes me nervous of the author's ability to make that statement through storytelling alone. Fortunately, The Gordon Place didn't even really need this statement. It should be obvious to anyone with comprehensive reading skills that this is an anti-prejudice book. All of the racist characters are uneducated and have evil intentions, and our main characters include a cop that was raised by a racist, abusive father. We have a black female reporter who is working very hard to overcome the racism of her small town, and she is joined by her cameraman who happens to be gay but isn't a stereotype, fortunately. The story follows a man by the name of Graham Gordon, who is the constable of Lost Hollow, which is the small town in which the book takes place. It has been 20 years since Graham returned to the home in which he suffered a lot of abuse by the hand of his father, but he decides to revisit that home and becomes trapped there by an evil entity. Enter Afia Afton, who is a reporter for the local news and her cameraman. They are filming a Halloween segment for the Channel 6 News about the hauntings of Lost Hollow, and their next stop is the Gordon Place. So what follows is a story of possession, grief, and finding justice for those who have been wronged. The Gordon Place is a timely novel that explores not so much the current political climate at large, but the current climate of small town living. There is no subtlety here, and the story can be a bit heavy-handed at times, so please know that going in. This is definitely a story that is more or less built around its message. Some strong points characters. I really enjoyed the characters, especially Graham Gordon and Afia Afton. Both of those characters were very fleshed out and easy to empathize with. I also enjoyed Patty Blankenship. Patty is the town administrator and she is this spunky southern belle full of personality and charm. It seems like she was pulled right out of the pages of A Cozy Mystery. I just really enjoyed reading about her. Unfortunately, I did find the story a bit slow and predictable at times. However, there were two very, very clever twists that I didn't really see coming. But overall, it took me a little while to get through the audiobook just because it could be a bit slow and it definitely took its time. This is nothing against the narrator of the audiobook, though. Uh, Shonda Rager, who narrated the audiobook, has a very upbeat, infectious tone to his narrations. He also really likes to get into character, so that makes the audiobook a fun listen overall. My only nitpick is that 
because he is so upbeat in his narration, it can diffuse some of the tension of the uh, more suspenseful scenes. But seeing that this is one of his early narrations, he did a really good job. So I'm not going to hold any of that against him. Uh, it's very, very good listen overall, and I know it won quite a few awards. Um, also, his narration of uh, Gary Brander's The Brain Eaters, which I reviewed recently, I'll link that right up here, was spot on. A great listen, so I highly recommend that one as well. So overall, I would recommend The Gordon Place by Isaac Thorne to anybody looking for a timely read during these challenging times. So, uh, Tony, what did you think about the book? Three and a half pumpkins, okay. Uh, yeah, I would say that's a totally reasonable rating to give this book. It's a very solid read. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. It really, really helps me. Uh, I put, put a lot of work into these videos, and this is definitely not uh, a job for me. I, I work two jobs. I, I do this because it's fun, and I, I just enjoy making videos. But in order for me to keep doing that, it would be great to have support. So if you could comment, uh, just tell me what you thought of this video, give it a like down below, share it with your friends, that really helps me. I also have a Patreon which is linked down below if you would like to go and support me there. You can, you certainly don't have to, you can consume all the free content you want because I'm going to keep putting it out, but if you go to Patreon and support me there, it really helps me to just keep doing this. And I would absolutely love at some point to be able to make at least a part-time job out of this, but at the moment I can't. I can't afford to do that, but if you at least like the video and share it around and put it in front of more people, that's going to help me get closer to that goal and I can make so many more videos and do so many more cool things with this channel. I don't usually say any of that at the end of my videos, but I'm saying it now because it really would help me out a lot. But anyway, if you are interested in reading The Gordon Place by Isaac Thorne, I will put links down below in the graveyard. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Later creeps.